I think I'm fairly young in the world of cinema. I'm just 10 years old and there is so much more that I want to do. There is so much that is within me that I want to tap into. But the journey has just begun. A filmmaking is like a puzzle. You take one piece out and it's incomplete. Because the Vikiti sir playing himself, had we not had him, it would have been a different ball game altogether. But sometimes, some days are challenging. But that's the nature of the job and I love my job. I don't think there is anything else I can do besides that. Hi guys, welcome to Radio City and restart, restart, restart. Radio UK Bad, you will be doing the exact same thing because we have some aspiring 12 fails with us. Vikrant Masi and Medha Shankar, welcome to Radio City. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having, having us. It's good to see you over here and it's so fabulous that tra trailer's amazing. Thank it you. keeps you hooked to the very end and I'm sure the film will keep you hooked to the very end. <laughs> So tell me something about the journey, how it all started for you. Okay, so uh, this has been absolutely magical for me. I was called to the casting agency and I gave the audition. Then I was told that Vidhu sir wants to screen test you. So on 9th of February 2022 is when I, for the first time, met Vidhu sir and Vikrant and the entire team. Just keeping the dates. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping all the dates. I know all the special dates. And then I auditioned with them. It was a long audition with two big scenes. And then I was told that, uh, you will be testing more because with Dusa being with Dusa, he tests a lot. Uh, so I was expecting many, many tests. And then I was told a photo shoot will be done and another test will be done. And then a month later, I did another test. And then on 14th of May, I knew that they told me that you're the uh, lead actress of the film. That's so hard. yeah. Two, two tests and one audition, and that's how I landed the project. I'm very, very grateful. Vidhu sir has shown unshakable faith in me since uh, the first time I did my screen test, and I'm so, so grateful I'm a part of this film. And we're glad he did. <laughs> yeah, everyone is. What about you, Vikrant? How it all started for you? Uh, with me, uh, I got a call from uh, VCF, which is Vinod Chopra Films. And uh, they invited me over. They said uh, Vinod sir is producing a film uh, which he's been working on for almost a year and a half. Uh, so he wants to meet you. And I later learned that uh, my name was recommended by Raju Hirani sir. And I met him and then he offered me the book. As, as most of us are aware that our film is uh, adapted from a book by the same name written by uh, Mr. Anurag Patak. And when I read the book, I was so overwhelmed. I remember I finished the book in one night and, and I think in yeah. 10, 12 hours I finished the book and I just could not contain my tears and I, I, I was very overwhelmed. I very strongly felt that this is one story that needs to be told. Yeah. Uh, it resonated with me. Uh, Vinod sir wanted to make this film because it resonated with him and I'm sure as, as we move forward, I'm sure the rest of the country and the world alike will find something which resonates with them. <laughs> so I've, I've had some incredible moments. You know, this this has been one extremely fulfilling journey for me. We've been we've been at it. Vinod sir has been at it for four years. Four years. I have been at it for nearly two and a half years. Wow. Yes. Okay. Well, before we proceed with further questions, and you must have given a lot of interviews. What's one question that you are absolutely tired of answering? So I won't repeat that. <laughs> no, no, no. Aisa, aisa, aisa kuch nahi hai. You know. Uh, you know, there are some interesting conversations that are taking place. So please feel free to ask yeah, anything. Whatever you want, yes. Yes, yes. So, so Vikrant, uh, your growth seems like a personal journey, personal growth to all of us. You're so relatable. So kind. Thank you. Thank you. You're uh, really kind. We saw you starting with TV serials yes. and then, uh, you know, going on OTT and now headlining a movie. So I was on my way and I was talking to somebody and I was like, you know, I'm going to meet uh, Vikrant Masi and he said, oh, the Shah Rukh Khan of OTT. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so I did not look at it that way, but oh. like you've conquered the OTT space. You're ruling the cinema now. And what's next for you to conquer? I think I haven't conquered anything yet, to be honest. It's really humbling when someone says... Let me tell you, as a, as a fan, as, a, as an audience, I would say that you've conquered the content right now. Yes. Because you are the one who's offering... Whenever there's a thing that it's Vikrant's movie, okay, that's the yeah. movie. Content. There's there's equal to big credibility for your films. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. That's so kind of you <laughs> and your friend and, and many of you alike. I mean, I, I would still say that there's still a long way to go, to be very honest. And I'm not trying to sort of uh, be modest or, you know, not, not acting up in any way because I think I'm fairly young in the world of cinema. I'm just 10 years old. And there is so much more that I want to do. There is so much that is within me that I want to tap into. Uh, you know, uh, collaborate with like-minded people. And I have been blessed. I would definitely not take that away. 
uh, I've had some incredible opportunities to collaborate with some great names uh, who ended up being like-minded people. Uh, but the journey has just begun. The idea remains the same as it was when I started off. The idea remains the same, which is to go out there, uh, you know, tell interesting stories, uh, entertain people, uh, and sort of sometimes inspire them, scare them, intrigue them with the different parts that I play. So the idea is to just keep it simple, stick to my basics, but there's still a long way to go. But I'm really, really humbled. Thank you. How lovely. Meera, your uh, character in the movie uh, is something that keeps uh, Vitran's character glued together. Like she shows faith in him when he's at, the, at his lowest. Personally, how important it is to have a supportive partner who will be with you when you are at your lowest? I think it's, it's incredibly important because uh, life is not easy, especially if you have the courage to dream big and you have the courage to follow your dreams. It's your life is not going to be easy at all. There will be a lot of ups and downs. So even in my personal life, I, I'm an actor. It's not easy becoming an actor when you're from the outside. It's very difficult. Nobody knows about your journey. But to have a partner that understands your struggle, like with Shraddha and Manoj, right. who's holding your hand through that Ter those terrible times and nobody believes in you. There's this one person who's saying, hey, listen, I believe in you. You, you got it. Y you know, I got your back. It's everything because sometimes you need just one hand to yank you out of your darkness right. and that's enough. And then you have the courage to be like, now I'll show you. Now I'll show the world. So it's extremely important and love to me is that. Love for me is Shraddha and Manoj. Honestly, when people will watch the film, as Medha Shankar, this is the only kind of love I, I, that resonates with me. So, I'm, but that's that's lovely. But other characters also they've been so fabulously uh, a part of the storyline. I mean, remove one character and the storyline would be correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, what was your experience shooting with all these versatile actors? It was, it was fabulous. I mean, she is incredible. I remember her first audition. I was also a part of it, and. The moment she walked out of the room, she was done with the day. All we did was just for 30, 40 minutes, we were just sitting and, you know, running through the tapes and talking about her, how good she was. And that's the reason she's here. That's the reason she packed the part. But uh, even the other other actors who are a part of the film, it's... it's it's a Filmmaking is like a puzzle, you know. You really, you take one piece out and it's incomplete. Exactly, right. You know, you're just a small dot in the circle. Yeah. So, whether it is Harish Khanna sir, or whether it is, uh, you know, Vikas Devakirti sir yeah, playing himself. Yeah. Right. I mean, had we not had him, it would have been a different ball game altogether. And, you know, the casting agency, you know, guided by Vinod sir, I think, you know, everything just fell at the right place at the right time. And uh, I am really honored to be working with everyone, you know, whether it is Anant Vijay Joshi, whether it is uh, Anshuman ji. Mm -hmm who plays a very, very pivotal yeah. part in the film. So these are actors with a certain amount of gravitas, you know, yeah. they bring a lot to the table. Right. And had they not been there, this film would not be the way it is. You spoke about whether we know Chopra, sir. We know to squeeze out of the actors to bring in the best performances, yeah. like the movie that he's directed or produced or anything. Yeah. It, your looks and everything, I mean, the makeup or you, you mentioned that it wasn't makeup or something mm. like that. That the physical transformation as actors, you may have experienced it before. But when you play such an intense role, how do you get it off mentally? It did take a fair amount of time for me to kind of disassociate myself with this film. Uh, as I said, we, we shot, we filmed over a period of two months, but we were into hardcore preparation three months prior to shoot and just general sifting through or sort of assembling things from a year and a half. So when you're so in, in depth into something, it does take time for you to switch off and get back to any sort of normalcy. Uh, more than the physical aspect, I think it was the emotional aspect. And I think I can speak for the both of us here. This film demanded so much emotionally. Yes, physical challenges were there. When we started off shooting, we were in Chambal, it was almost 42 degrees, 42, 43, it, it was daunting. But it was the emotional baggage that took its fair bit of time to sort of wear off. This is such a, such a taxing film yeah. emotionally, uh, as you must have seen in the trailer, you know, there, there is a journey which is, which is like 
crazy, you know. It's it's like a roller coaster, right? The performances can hit yes. your soul totally, yeah. and it stays with you. Yeah. It stays with you. So it it does take some time to wear off. But then, I mean, I'm not complaining because I I don't think had I had I not been in that mind space while filming, I don't think it it would have been the same. Mm. So it's it's all a part of our profession, mm. you know. I embrace it. uh but sometimes some days are challenging but that's the nature of the job and i love my job i don't think there is anything else i can do besides that yeah, i love your job thank you <laughs> thank you you tell me made the house he so rightly put it this was very emotionally challenging it's just a very heavy on performance kind of film for all of us for him it's physically very demanding right. also but for my character it was very emotionally demanding and uh, but i i like that bit uh for me acting is like if it's easy it's not exciting you know if it's not bringing my soul like literally pulling on my soul uh it's not exciting for me so uh i have enjoyed it a lot and working with vidhu sir like you said he's he's an absolute genius mm. and he does demand a certain standard of acting whether it's from actors whether it's from light person from the camera camera team he demands a certain level of work and you have to give it to him and in that journey while he's holding your hand bringing out your best when you wrap the film you realize how much you've grown as an actor and as a person right. on a very cellular level and that's that's what you take away from the film and after having worked with vidhu sir it's like you just entered for 2 months or a year you've entered a film institute and now you're a better person and a better actor once you leave so it's been so magical the experience it's so enriching wonderful like but i mean apart from your performances and the fabulous trailer that we've all seen what also kept me hooked was the music yes. okay yes. background oh. for the rupee the rupee rupee to be to be the rap by raftar and then yes. the song by sir and yes. tell me something about the music what's your favorite part of it ah uh, this and uh, thank you so much you know i think you're the first one who's talking about yes it. i'm so excited yes somebody uh, mentioned the music so, yeah, it's so beautiful the music uh it's done by none no one else but shantanu moitra ji who is a vidhu vinod chopra yeah. patent yeah he's, he's <laughs> always there and he's given us such incredible music Absolutely. all these years yes. you know only if we talk about the films he's associated with bbc on mm. you know he's given us three years he's given us parini 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 is a class that you bole good every time you want to listen yeah but coming back we can discuss music <laughs> yeah and 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 it's it's by him written, you know the, the songs have been written by uh, swanand kirkire ji yeah. and vidhu vinod chopra sir himself you cannot put a better team together yeah, yeah sung by such fabulous names and yeah. and they are such an integral part of the narrative mm. uh these are not just songs that fill a space or probably you know they they are very entertaining uh but they they they're not fillers yeah, they they correct. they are a part of the narrative they take the story forward they they represent your character's state of mind and we are all like so so happy with the music that we have and the audiences are loving it uh, both the songs are out uh, you know bolona and restart restart i can very proudly say today is is resonating with yeah. the youth it's almost like an anthem, anthem already yes. it is and uh, <laughs> the amount of fan mails or messages that we are getting all of us yes i mean i mean it's very heartwarming very heartwarming and thank you to shantanu sir and everyone who's associated you know mm. in the music department no why do i have a feeling that if i play that song over here we all will start jamming or you know at least yeah, 100% 100% <laughs> restart so we don't need the song no <laughs> uh before we let you go Vikrant and Medha both. How uh, different is Twelfth Fail from all the commercial success that the cinema has seen right now? I'm not implying that this won't be a commercial success, but you just mentioned that Vidhu, you know, Chopra is not a number guy. I mean, he's he's not somebody who's after numbers. He's after stories yeah. and, and quality. Yeah. So how how it, how is it different from all the commercial hits we've ever seen of yours of yours as well, including that? See, I, I, and you very rightly said, you know, uh, Vinod Chopra sir is is someone who would prioritize quality yeah. or you know uh, over anything. And he's he's actually, and I I can say this on record, he's the most fearless person I've ever met in my life. He's the most cutsy guy I've ever met. Uh, of course, we 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 hope that we do the numbers as well because uh, you know that is sort of synonymous with your success these days. but that is not our priority i can very proudly tell you that 
uh, why it is different is because this is Vidhuvinod Chopra's best film so far. In the last 45 years that he's made masterpieces, he's produced some incredible films, he's directed some incredible films, he's written some outstanding films. But today, even as he completes 45 years in the world of cinema, his best film is 12th film. Yeah. That is why it is different and you should go and watch it. Yeah. Oh, I definitely will. Yes. I definitely will. What about you, Meera? What do you have? So, like he said, uh, all the industry friends of Sir's who have watched it, all, all these incredibly talented people, everybody said the same thing that this is Vidhu Sir's best work so far and we know all the incredible work he's already done. So, this film... Uh, to transcend that is an achievement. It's an achievement in itself. And again, this film is rooted in authenticity. Mm. And numbers will follow. I am pretty, I'm not like even hoping or whatever. I am pretty sure that when you when you put such honesty in a film, Absolutely. such authenticity in a film, such divinity in a film, it will translate. Mm. And it will come back to you in, in, in beautiful ways. So I'm not really, we're not, we're not the kind of people who are worried about the numbers, but I'm 100% sure it will follow. Because the aim is that it will move people, it will touch their lives, and it will provide them the hope and inspiration that, each one of us need every single day. Wow. That's the intent. Wow. Well, I can't wait to watch this movie. Thank you. And all the best. Congratulations on such a fabulous Thank trailer. You. And congratulations to you, Vikran, personally, for the new good news. Thank Thank you. You. <laughs> How does it feel? Ah, uh, great. On top of the world. On top. I'm tired of this question every time. No, I, 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 I am actually. Uh, I don't have an answer because. Uh, not just for interviews, I really don't have an answer because there are days when I just sit back and I'm looking at Sheetal and I'm like, what is happening? I mean, is it really happening? She's perfect. Touch wood by the grace of God. Thank you for asking. So kind of. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's happening. I am just counting my blessings and, you know, I think I'm going to take it as it comes. Sorry to interrupt, but your announcement was such a cute pin. Yeah. <laughs> pin. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> so cute. Uska credit Sheetal ko jata. You know, she had actually um, made this months before when uh, we got to know. She's like, jis din hum announce karenge, hum yehi karenge. <laughs> so and she would ask me, ki, ab kar de. And then I'd be like, haan, aapki marzi, aap kar de. She's like, nahi, 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 abhi nahi. So she only herself would stop. Nahi, 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 nahi. But tell me, how did she... Uh, Convey the good news. Breaking good news to me? Yeah. Oh. So it, it's a very funny story in itself. So I had just landed back home. I, I was not in town. I came back home and I had an off, you know, the next two, three days. I came back home and I didn't even take my shoes off. So I got in, kept my bags and I sat, you know, on the dining table. And I'm like, yeah, Sheetal, come here. Let's go get, grab a drink. You know, I've had a very long week. And uh, let's go down and have a drink. And uh, she like, okay, ठीक है करते हैं. आप ये काम करो ना. Just go freshen up. Go go in the bedroom. I'm like, who wants to go freshen up? I'll get lazy if I have a shower. And uh, so let's go. She like, no no, you go and freshen up and come. And I refuse to go to the bedroom. I'm like, नहीं यार मेरे को नहीं जाना. Because if I take a shower, I'm go, I'm, I'm going to get very lazy. एक घंटा हो गया, डेढ़ घंटा हो गया. Then I I kind of got itchy. I'm like, यार you know the restaurants will shut. You know, let's go out. I it's been a while. We haven't got a drink together. She's like, Vikran, why don't you just go to the bed? Poor Sheetal. What I'm like, Achha, hai, I'll go. She's like, go freshen up. And she kind of yelled at me. I went in and she sort of, you know, made up the bed oh. with some things on it. And I went in and I opened and I saw the bed decorated with her pregnancy test, oh. which was positive. And there were multiple tests, which she, she'd done, you know, there were three, four of them. And all of them were positive and that's how oh. it was. That's so sweet. <laughs> that is so sweet. The poor sheep. How, she how stupid and a half. was that? It's so stupid. I'm like, I'm not going to go. I'm 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 going to